Brafia, on Isaiah Youth Council defends IPOB, says group is a non violent and seeks referendum. Good morning, everyone, and thank you all for tuning in and listening to the telling that we got here this morning. As our headline for this morning says here that concerning Brafia, on Isaiah Youth Council defends IPOB, says its group is a non violent and they seek referendum. While well, the youth wing of the Apex Ibu Social Cultural Organization, Onaize Youth Council, OYC, has declared, has said that the indigenous people of Brafia IPOB is a non violent self determination group advocating for a referendum in Nigeria. Onaize said that in the wake of the burning incident of the National Open University Unsu Study Center and Senator Frank Imbizim residence, several political opportunities have the same as the cemented baseless rumor attempting to implicate the indigenous people of Brafia IPOB. Imbizim was the immediate past representative of Imu North Central District in the upper chamber in Abuja. In a joint statement issued on Tuesday by the National President of the Nigeria Youth Council and Secretary General Infant Shuku Cedric Nwiki, they said that they are aware through several video clips that the leader in Amikanu, who is standing at legal trial, warned against criminal elements using IPB's name in to perpetuate crimes in the southeast. The, the statement noted that Kanu has maintained that he is focused on the liberation of Brafia and stressed that he wants the southeast to remain calm and peaceful. It reads, obviously, since its inspection, the indigenous people of Brafia led by Namdukanu has constantly advocated for a non-violent restoration of Bravia. However, the 2021 Obere prison break marks a critical turn turning point. It is imperative that Indigo retain a valid re re recollection of the of the events that precipitated the current insecurity situation in the Southeast. The Nigerian government has been confronted with the reality of widespread discontent among Indigo since 2012 when the indigenous people of Brafia IPB stepped up its referendum campaign under an American leadership, revealing the entrenched marginalization, victimization, and amnesty towards Indigo in Nigeria's politics. In 2015, in Nandikano's arrest and subsequent release in 2017, sparked concern about its um, suppression of political and economic freedom for Indigo, the Operation Python Dance and Military Action at Afakuru Ibeku in Americano's hometown culminated in the killing of over 180 Igbo youths. Nigeria's Southeast Geopolitical Zone has traditionally enjoyed peace by following the 2021 Uwe prison break. Then, Inspector General of Police eh, Mohamed Amadou promptly pointed to the indigenous people of Brafia as culpable. Mere hours after the event, just to give a dog, just to give a dog a bad name. The circumstances surrounding the Uwe jailbreak have raised concern that the former President Muhammad Dubari administration may have, may have made a role in the incident, possibly in an effort to persuade the international community to disengage IPB as a terrorist organization. Uwe prison is tragic tragically located near Imo State Government House State's police headquarters and 84 Alatri Brigade Ubinzi witnessed an armed Predecented jailbreak with over 1,800 inmates freed during the, during the four hour incident. Well, remarkably, no swift response was mounted by security um, agencies, including the nearby state police command, armed prison personnel, or government house security, despite the proximity of high ranking military officers living five poles away from the very prison. The federal government att attribution to the attack to IPB has sparked controversy and speculatism. Well, there have been concerned concerns have been raised regarding the former President Mamadou Barry's purported involvement with unknown government in the South is aimed at discrediting IPB and categorizing the indigenous people of Brafia as a terrorist organization. Well that is not all before I can say for you guys concerning this headline which says here that Onaize Youth Council defends IPB says the group is a non-violence group and seeks referendum. Well, of course, you had it for me this morning. And if you're not a subscriber, the best you can do right here, right now, 
is to tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a like on this video to get more updates concerning this in the next feature to come. Well, I really support what this Onaize Youth um, group is saying right here, right now. Because a lot of people are, are labeling the IPB as a terrorist organization, terrorist organization, terrorist organization. Whereas the IPB is not a terrorist organization in any way. Yes, of course, you had it for me. The IPB is not a terrorist organization. Any little thing that happens in the South, they will just blame it on the IPB, saying that uh, suspected to be IPOB, unknown government suspected to be IPOB. How is an unknown government IPOB? It is very, very annoying, whereas you blame every little thing to uh, to the indigenous people of Bafia. The indigenous people of Bafia are just a group of people who just seek a peaceful referendum for themselves. They want a peaceful way to leave this country. They all want to leave this country in, in peacefully. Like, look at what happened in the Uri jailbreak now. Four hours jailbreak that happened to security teams that were around with their, that they were armed with weapon. They did not go and, they did not do anything. They did not go and stop the jailbreak. Hours after the jailbreak was su successfully um, completed, that was when the IG, the Inspector General Police just come. He blame it on IPOB. That will now fuel the IPOB anger, saying that we don't even know whether it's the people that is involved in it because for four hours the nearby police station did not respond to, to, to the matter. Even the military uh, the, the military camp um five poles away too that we are armed with weapons. Two of you were armed with weapons, they never even um responded to the jailbreak. Even the um state the government house that is packed with military personnel didn't also respond to the jailbreak. Then tell me how the IPB is responsible for that jailbreak. This is the thing that they, this user are talking about. Every little thing they blame it on IPB, blame it on IPB, blame, blame it on IPB. And it's very, very annoying. Very annoying. They, they, they just want to give the dog, a dog, the ba a bad name. They just want to give IPB a bad name. So that other world leaders would, would not recognize them. What do you guys think? Drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then turn the subscribe button as because don't with the notification bell. So anytime I have a new video, you will be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day. I love you.